It's your boy Cash, the guy that posts the most reactions. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned for this litty itty bitty shit. Dang, this YouTube stuff paying off like I bust my ass for this. Like God, I never asked for this. It's like every girl that I meet end up getting hurt by the things that I preached. Moms instilled hard work in me. The senior stuff. What's up, YouTube? Please don't mind the noise in the background, but look at my hair, y'all. It is almost time for my one year update. It is almost time for my one year update. And look at it, man. Look at it, bro. I don't know how long are we. I think uh, we're about five and a half or six and a half. Six and a half I don't know uh, exactly. But uh, yes, man. Uh, how does it feel to have dreads? Uh, it definitely, like, I mean, just hair in general, just any type of hairstyle, you're gonna have your pros and cons about it. Um, rather, if you have like a flat top or just like a dread hawk or a dread, uh, a dread, uh, uh, a high fade dread, or a, you know, like if you just have like the top. The top of your dreads and you just fade all around that's dope too long um, you're gonna feel a certain way you know edge it might be crooked you know different people have different heads and just different edge ups and stuff like that so um basically you know just i love my hair how it is and like i said in my previous video my previous hair video i didn't want i didn't want dreads at all so like uh um, dang it i think i messed up but I think I messed. Somebody just called me. Uh, anyway, um, I think I messed up. Basically, creating dreads is like a long process if you start from the bottom. Just like anything, when you start from the bottom, it's going to be a hard, difficult process of just going to places going to places and just trying to be successful <clears throat> um, with dreads um, I had to do I had to I had to stay up at night and do the dreads on my own but I knew like once I finished with it at least I won't have to do it till the next month so it was like a monthly challenge for me and um, I guess my family members seen me keep my dreads up having dreads is a long process and you know it takes responsibility but uh, anybody could do it if they really want to do it the energy inside. would look great like some of the most of the time and um i definitely keep my stuff up with this band right here so that that what helps because like i don't like my hair in my face a lot when i could put my hair all the way back i think i'm gonna be stuck but um all in all dreads if you want dreads and it's like a problem i say the problems for you would probably be your parents your age, um, just like once you get them and not one of them no more, that's like a waste of time, I would say, because like you could have been growing another hairstyle that you probably already had and you wanted back, or you know, just whatever the case may be with your scenario or your life. Um, yeah, so I was forced to get it, like I said in a previous video, but you know. Um, I guess God wanted me to have have this particular hairstyle at the time, and um, I didn't. I don't dislike my hair, so I guess that's a plus if you don't dislike it. But I think I'm definitely gonna go all black now. Yeah, so like my next time around, I will be going all black. So yeah, I feel like that's what I need to do. Go all black. Um, it's definitely gonna look different and kind of weird on me because like with my dreads, I never had all black. Just like the only color I had. So basically, I had, I had this color, the, all of my whole dreads, the whole color and everything since I got it. So like a year. So definitely, it's definitely time for a redye. Um, I wanted like a blonde, blonde, blonde. It, it came out like a brownish. Yeah, like it came out like a brownish. So I was pretty kind of mad until like I really looked at it. And I was like, you know, it don't look that bad. So yeah. 
dreads is just like um I say dreads is like a job. Definitely, you know. Um You have to keep up with it. You have to, you know, sustain it. Just everything that a job. You know, it's just a major key. And or just interviewing people about how they feel about my dreads and when I started, you know, whoop, whoop, just different stuff. That will be the next video at 10 o'clock. Your parents to get dreads, basically. Um, I would say definitely come to an approach where just show them that you're responsible first. Um, keep, keep your room clean, um, clean up after yourself, just the daily stuff. If you have chores, do them. Um, keep your grades up as much as you can. Uh, work, just keep busting your butt, you know, um, bust, bust your butt, you know, dreads, it's like, it's not that bad than people think, you know, I feel like people judge entirely too much, not that I don't judge, because I do the same thing, but, like, I'm not just going to sit here and talk about people when I judge too, but I feel like just the world in general, everybody judge on different things, so, like, that's why I try to stay with, it, with an open mind, and just try to think outside the box, you know. I try, to, I try to so hard. Like I just start questioning, just like why people act certain ways and, and just things like that. And I just realize, you know, that's just how life is, and it's not gonna stop. You know, people still gonna think that everybody with dreads is like aggressive and you know, like you know, like likes to be in gang activity and just you know, just stuff like that. It's just like stereotypes and stuff. Just because you know you black, you like chicken, or you know you Japanese, you eat, or you Chinese, you eat Chinese food, and just like you know, just different stereotypes. You know, if you're white and you're rich, you know that's not all the case with everybody's situation. So uh, I just want to tell y'all like uh, if you're trying to pursue dress or you know. Or your parents just trying to make you cut your dreads off because you just doing this and that. The, the one way to prove them right or to, to keep your your end of the bargain up, all you gotta do is just take up responsibility. You know, just do what you need to do. Uh, take charge, and you can be all right. And that's coming from your boy Cash. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. You all you have to do is click this thing right here with my face on it. Press it, and then. From there, you should be able to uh, boom, then subscribe and put me on post notifications. So press the subscribe button and it's gonna be a bell and click that. Then yeah, I appreciate all y'all for staying tuned for the series, uh, for the playlist. Uh, yeah.